This word from God today is a confirmation around the fact that God is working this thing out for you. He is doing it. It's not all on you. So for all of my sisters who are overworked, who are tired, who have been doing so much, whose to-do list is is so long, God has a word for you today. All right, I'm going to read it to you. God says, what significant action do you think you need to take in order for me to do what I was already going to do? The answer is to simply wait on me. That's a significant action. God says, just wait on him. He says, I am knitting you together, reestablishing you on my foundation with my thoughts and my precepts. And it is requiring significant changes in belief systems, in thinking, in your reception of love and what my love really looks like in your life. We're going to start seeing that love more clearly. God says, I want you to receive the gift. Stop judging the gifts that I'm bringing to you and saying that it's not what you asked for because you asked with your whole heart and I answered you. Yes, it may initially appear to look differently from what you expected, but you should know by now that I'm not going to give you something that is not for you. I'm going to say that again for somebody who needs to hear it. You should know by now that I'm not going to give you something that is not for you. I am going to give you what is for you. Don't doubt it, believe it. What you desire, I place in your path, even if you don't perceive it at first. What I want from you is not more sacrifice. I want your obedience. Obedience in believing in me, trusting in me, leaning on me. I'm bringing you what I impressed on your heart that I would bring you. That's what I'm doing, trust me. He desires our obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice, the word says. So while we think sometimes we have to give up so much to be able to be in alignment with God, God is like, I don't, I don't need you to give up anything else. I will tell you when it's time for you to give up something. What I want you to do is just be obedient to the word that I'm calling you to do. Because if you are obedient, it paves the way. If you are obedient, to the instructions that I've told you, it allows things to flow more easily. This oil that God has for us is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And when we are obedient, we get into alignment with that anointing and then it can flow. So God is telling someone today, you aren't supposed to be able to put it all together yourself. It's not up to you. It's up to him. Just come into alignment with what it is that he's asked for you to do. And he is going to take care of the rest. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for your word and for the blessing of your presence here today. God, thank you for making it plain and clear to us that you love us, that you love us, God, that you love us, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit for filling our hearts with a confirmation of your love, for showing us who you are over and over again, God, so that we have clarity, God. You don't leave, love us and leave us confused. You love us and you bring us into clarity. You love us and you straighten out our pathway. You love us and you bring us all the way in, God. You justify us so that we aren't bound anymore by sin. But God, we are free. And who the sun, sun sets free is free indeed. So God, we thank you right now that you are doing what you said you would do. And God, we honor you with our bodies. We come into a radical acceptance, God, that we are worthy as per you. Thank you, God, for doing what you said you would do. And God, we release every future thing that you told us would happen into your hands. We are not going to try to step ahead of you, God, but we are going to stay right here. We're going to bask in your presence. We are going to be and rest in your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You guys. Amen.